case with them. Sangra, okay. It's Choma Akota. Chinye Wilfred. Uh, Walter Kalada Anga. I will encourage you to keep watching. Keep watching? Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Hollywood picture. TV. TV? TV. 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 Hollywood picture. TV. TV? TV. Wow. Oh my god, this is awesome. That both of you are finally together? I mean, I am the happiest girl in the whole world right now. And I can say that I am the happiest person. I, I am sorry to cut you, my sweet. Please, you are talking total bullcrap. You're just getting hysterical in the face of nothing. Look, I ask questions, and these questions are yet to be answered. With due respect, Chief Ethan Obiokoye, you invited us here to listen to you, so you can speak. So go ahead, speak. But your demand is that we come back together as man and wife. Yes. And that is what we have done. Your mother is here to stay. And already I have relieved my cook of her duties. My wife is back for good. So are you not contented with that? Um, oh, well, Dad, I, uh, I understand where Anthony is coming from, okay? As your children, we deserve to know what caused your separation in the first place. Yes. The wound will not heal completely until we know what caused the wound in the first place. Your father and I have decided not to tell anybody. Ah, 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 ah. Madam Selena, we are not just anybody. We are your children. We want to know why both of you got separated in the first place and exposed us to the kind of trauma we saw. Look, you invited us here, we are here, we are all complete. We want to end this thing this night and we'll start by telling ourselves the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So shoot, we're waiting. Something fantastic is happening. Just sit down, okay? <laughs> Selena. This is magical. <laughs> this is unbelievable. My father used to say my family is part of the ruling class families of Undeka dynasty. But I never took him seriously. Now the reality is staring at me. I don't understand what you're talking about. Oh. This letter is from the body of the kingmakers of Udenka dynasty. After a critical analysis, of all the families in the ruling class, my family has been selected ahead of all other families <laughs> to provide the next king of Undeka dynasty. But Selena, my love, <laughs> it didn't stop there. As I'm talking to you now, it has been pinned down to me, my dear. <laughs> As I'm talking to you now, I'm the next king of Undeka dynasty. Oh my god, oh my god, this is awesome. No, 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 let me get something straight here. Are you telling me that I'm going to be a queen? My love, as I'm talking to you now, just prepare. We are going down to the village tomorrow to meet with the elders in council. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I humble myself before the body of kingmakers of Undenka dynasty. You see, I got the letter inviting me as the next king of Umdeka dynasty. I, I was expecting that we should be taken to the central palace. So, what is going on? I don't understand. What are we doing here in your compound, Onowo? What are we doing here? Atanobi Okoye, the reason our land is different from others is that the king makers don't scheme for kingship. Yes. Oh. The king makers chose your family and your family chose you. Based on this, we sent the letter. So this meeting in my compound is very, very important because 
there is problem. A problem? Yes. So what is the problem? Oh no, what is the problem? Look, I, I, I want us to understand one thing. I have made up my mind. And I have discussed with many of my friends to help us build a better and a new Undenka dynasty. So, tell me what the problem is. What is happening? <clears throat> okay, okay, Ogwana Sanya, I greet you. By inheritance, you are the eye of the gods of this land. You told us that we must not proceed to the central palace with the man we have chosen. As you can see, the man is asking us to explain. Please, Okwana Asaya, can you tell us why? I suppose you are his wife. Yes, I am his wife. And you have kids for him. Yes, a boy and a girl. You cannot be crowned king of Udenka dynasty. Why? Why? Huh. Is it because we had a boy and a girl? Why? The information that denies you the throne of Udenka dynasty is one that must be closely guided. But your children will grow up to investigate the both of you. The only news of telling them what actually happened depends on both of you. Elders in council, I would like you to excuse us as I want to speak to Atan and his wife alone. Get him over. And jump back. Ata Nobiokoi, the woman you presented here as your wife has just disqualified you. What? How? Before she produced a boy and a girl for you, she had already reproduced a boy for another man. No, no. And a woman in that rank cannot be queen of Udenka dynasty. And the man also that presented her as his wife is not qualified to be king of the Dink dynasty. What? What? I'm going back to the shrine now. But if you think that the gods lied, confront me at the shrine. Selina, did you hear him? Selena, is this true? What? I can't believe this. I can't. Oh my God. You mean you had a son in your father's house? And you never told me all this why, Selena? Why? What about the love? What about the promises? What about truth? Selena. There's something I had wanted to ask you. Ask me whatever you want to ask me and be ready to get the best of responses. The truth is that when it comes to issue like this, I always shy. But today, I must overcome the spirit of shyness. <laughs> Each time you talk like this, I see the purity of your heart. And I see the high level of responsibilities you've attained for yourself. And that makes me love you the more. Oh, thank you so much. You, you, you even make it more easier for me. That's what I want. To make things easier for you. Selena, I want you to think well and give me a beautiful answer. Selena, my love. Will you marry me? Sincerely, I would like to be your wife. 
-hmm. But before then, there is something I want to tell you about myself, no, 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 no. about my past. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear anything about your past. I meet you now and I love you the way you are. So we must allow the past to be the past. Period. Yes, Atan. I understand what you're saying. But I still insist you allow me to tell you what I want to tell you. It's very important. Selena, I refuse to allow you to dig into your past. You know what? I, I, I don't want a situation whereby you will say something that, that will make me feel bad. Okay? <laughs> you are the love of my life. And I have decided to love you from now onward. Until we are separated by death. Okay? Let's, let's think about our future and not the past. So, but just one more thing. Before then, I will want you to close your eyes. Close my eyes? Yeah. Eyes close. Okay. Now, you can bring your hands. My hands? Yeah. Bring. Close your eyes properly. They are closed. Oh my god! <laughs> thank, you, ah, thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is beautiful! Thank you! Why are you blaming me now? I saw this coming and I wanted to tell you about my son, but you wouldn't listen. Why didn't you tell me to keep quiet and tell me about it, Selena? You knew then that I was overtaken with excitement and I was consumed with youthful exuberance. You took advantage of my weak point intentionally. And now your stupidity has deprived me of the, the, the throne of Undenka dynasty. Selena, you are wicked. And you called me stupid. What did I do? What? You are a big liar. You are a big liar. And there's no way I'm going to live under the same roof with big liar as you are. Nonsense. <laughs> The only reason I've stayed is because I love you. I am not a liar and you know it. I wanted to tell you this that day, but you wouldn't listen. You wouldn't listen. What about other days? I mean, what about other times, Selena? If you were sincere enough, you would have raised the same topic another time. When you knew that I would be able to take it. That's all. Eh? But you never did. Because you are an evil woman. Selena, you know what you are doing. You are evil. Atan, I am not an evil woman. I am not an evil woman and you know it. You said you wanted everything that happened in the past to still remain in the past. I am your wife and I have every reason to respect the opinion of my husband. Atan, who am I to open a topic that my husband has already declared closed? I just did everything just the way you wanted it. So why am I being punished here? Why? You know what? You can say that to the bears in the forest and they will clap with you. They will even dance with you. Nonsense. And then just remember the oath of faithfulness. Just remember it. I love you. I am sorry to say this, Father, but you are heartless. How could you? How could you unleash such wickedness on a woman who wanted to tell you the truth and you shut her down? Father, you are the cause of this family's misfortunes and we demand an apology right now. Please. Give me the opportunity to apologize. I know what you went through losing the throne to someone the kingmakers held us below your status. I know it was not easy for you. All these years I went through agony. Each time I remember that 
I was the one that caused this trouble for you. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's okay, like it was. Please forgive me. It's okay. <laughs> It's all right. It's okay. I'm sorry, my son. Listen, I, I am sorry. I, I now know that um, I have overreacted. And for all these years, we lost. I'll make it up to you. Hmm? Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Selena, sure. most times when I look at you, I wonder why you are such a fool. So what have I done? Why did you call me a fool? Tell me, what are your duties as my secretary? My duties are the same as all the secretaries in this town. And how many secretaries are still in their offices by this time of the day? They are all gone. You asked me to stay back. Please, can you permit me to go? It's already getting late. You see, I asked you to stay because I want to play with my secretary. Oh, what guy is his name? He was my boss for just two weeks. He violently terminated my virginity. I resigned after it happened. I was in agony for all that period. And after a couple of months, I realized I was pregnant. I went to tell him. He threatened me with court members. And I decided to lick my wound silently. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mom, I'm really sorry, okay? I know that you've been through a lot in your life. I am so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. So what happened to the child eventually? The worker was monitoring me. Was the president of a hooker printing press, a trivial business at that time. I don't know how much he spent, but as soon as my son was delivered, he came to the hospital with policemen and senior midwives from the child care center and took away my son. He even made me sign that I will never come for the child. He took away my son. That son of man never 
suck my breast for up to 24 hours. <laughs> and I, must, I have never set my eyes on him ever since. I lay my hands on you. Don't tell me you want to go after him. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do, but your pathetic story has got me curious. The devil is a liar. This family is one. <laughs> You're welcome back, oh my Thank daughter. You. Please do sit down. Sit down, my daughter. <sighs> so how was you, Kay? Very well, been good. Yeah, father, um, Collins told me that he met a woman of Udenka dynasty. He wants to get married to her, but she objected. Is it like you don't like the people of Udenka? No, 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 my daughter. My refusal has nothing to do with where the lady comes from. It has to do with her family. Oh, so you want to tell me about it? Yes. A woman from a broken home cannot be queen in Omuna Kingdom. That woman of Udenka comes from a broken home. And on that singular fact alone, she is not qualified to be queen here. Okay, now I understand. So did you explain this to my brother? I have explained it to him. But he wouldn't listen. He says he wants to reconcile the family and then marry the woman he loves. I'm just watching him from a distance. And now uh, whatever you're discussing, Because my intention is to pop this big bottle of champagne in my hands to celebrate the arrival of my one and only beautiful sister. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, just a moment. Excuse me, Father. Um, hello, darling. How are you today? Hello, baby. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you okay? Um, where are you? Well, you won't believe this, but I'm standing right in front of my father, the king. With a big bottle of champagne in my hand. Same I'm about to pop to celebrate the arrival of my one and only beautiful sister, Princess Barbara of Mona Kingdom. She came in from the UK today looking so very ravishing. You know what, sweetheart? We might have to pop a bigger, bigger, bigger bottle of champagne. <laughs> oh, come on, darling. What makes you think the one I'm holding right now is not big enough? Mm -mm. You know why? Because my parents have reconciled. You're kidding me, right? No, I'm not kidding. I'm serious. Um, as I'm speaking to you right now, I'm just right in front of my mother in my father's big castle. <laughs> you know what? Right now we are one big happy family. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, darling, please, just a moment, I'll call you back, okay? Okay, darling. Talk to you later. Ciao, ciao. Yeah, thank you. Um, <clears throat> Father, I think I... I, I mean, I have to come with a bigger bottle, okay? This one is not big enough. I mean, something good is happening around me. Yes, Father. Yes. Father is acting funny. Is he okay? That's your brother for you. Since he met the Udenka woman, he has been obsessed. Wow. <laughs> so, Father. My son has told me a lot about you. And uh, I've come to like you based on his uh, glorious tribute. 
So what have you found out? Well, uh, thank you very much for the confidence reposed in me. Well, it's not that I'm blowing my trumpet myself or singing praises of myself, but uh, when it comes to private investigations, my chambers here stands out from the crowd. In fact, you can actually say we are the best in this part of the world. I know you lawyers. So what have you found out? The Onka that owned the now rested Onka Printing Press is the owner of Oasis Fishing Company. And from our investigation, he is a man of means, a very wealthy man. Do you mind um, giving us his address? His address? Yes. And why are you looking at me? My father wants his address. Give it to him. All right. That's the man's address. Please approach him with wisdom. He has police security. Thank you immensely for your efforts. Don't bother yourself about how we deal with the security. My son will call you. And if you need any additional settlement, I think uh, he can handle it. Uh, thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Chief Ethan of Biokwe, a strong man by excellence. My father, that I have missed so much all these years. We'll get back to you. Thank you very much. We'll see you again. Warriors can be so beautiful and to see a wonderful family together again. Father explained why he's against the girl, and I think I see through his point. The king has no point. I just spoke to her again and she reconfirmed the fact that her family are back together. That's exactly what I told him. But he doesn't seem to believe. He thinks you and the girl just set up the whole thing so that you convince him and he releases his blessing. Come on, princess. Doesn't that sound ridiculous to you? Is it ever possible that we set up such a thing? Uh, I have an idea. So what is it? Is it possible you ask her to invite her parents to pay father a visit? That would be very, very difficult, if not impossible. Because her father is a very, very stubborn millionaire who doesn't listen to anyone. Mm -mm. He wouldn't accept to come here. Well, in that case, you have to look for another way to convince Father. Because as it is, there is no how Father will bless you if her parents are not reconciled. Maybe I'll take you to her tomorrow. I bet you when you see her, your impression about her will change. She's just like our mother. Very beautiful, yet simple. And everything, I mean, everything about her defines nobility. Brother, I know. I believe everything you said about her. But I need you to understand that I am not the problem here. Her father is the problem. And you have to find a way to convince him that her parents are reconciled so he can bless you. And you can be with the woman you love. Probably ask her to invite her parents to come pay for that revisit. Do you know the caliber of a man you are intimidating? My name is Chief Omoka, the president of Oasis Shipping Company. I am well connected in this country. Do you know I can sack you as a police officer? What right have you to withdraw my police security and to say that I'm under arrest? Sir, my name is Angela Okon. I am the officer in charge of your case. I bet if you behave yourself, it's going to all go well with us. I'm now asking you to please behave yourself. You, a woman in charge of my case? What case?
case are you talking about? Sir, don't give me the impression that you are one of the men that sustain gender discrimination because if you do, it's going to compound your case. Compound my case? I ask you once again, what case are you talking about? Sir, so, in 1976, there was a registered company known as Onwoka Printing Press. You were the president of the now rested Onwoka Printing Press. True or false? What has my being the president of the name business had to do with the abuse of my personality? There was a secretary in your company named Selina. Sir, can you tell me what led to the exit of that girl from your company? I would like to have access to my lawyer. Will you tell your lawyer how you raped her in your office that night? Are you calling me a rapist? That rape, sire, to the best of your knowledge, led to pregnancy. And you connived with corrupt officers to steal that baby from her. Now, Chief Omoka, do you still need your lawyer? Oh. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, it's good to see you. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, wait a minute. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. She's um, Barbara from Umana Kingdom, right? <laughs> You're right, my dear. Oh. She's the one. My oh. one and only sister. Oh, come on. Oh, Thank you. Oh. Wow, well, your father must have a very good taste. This place is so beautiful. No, no, no. Not my father. My brother designed this place. He's an architect. Wow, he must be a genius. This place is so nice. <laughs> you can say that again. Well, it's really hot here. Let's go inside. Okay, okay. I'll you. <laughs> Dictative. I never bargained for this. Is it the same Eta Obi Okoye that brought the case against me? That same woman you raped. It's now Madame Selina, the wife to Chief Ethan Obi Okohe. This case is assigned to me because I am a woman and the crime bothers on rape. All the corrupt officers you connived with to steal the baby from that innocent woman have been arrested and they have made useful confessions. So, sir, I am telling you that you are in a mess. But I can help you. If only you will tell me the truth. What do you want me to tell you? Where is the child you stole from that innocent woman? You can verify this from Sky Airline. His name was Henry Omuka. He died in Sky Airline crash of April 17, 1999. That is the truth about the baby. This information will be investigated. But I want you to realize that I am continuing to charge you for rape and other crimes are against you. Detective, I want this case closed. I can pay you anything. I am a man that sits on a mountain of money. I can pay you anything. I want this case closed, please. Sire, the more you talk, the more you expose yourself. Of all the money 
in the central bank. I, Inspector Angela Ocon, cannot close the case of rape. You will face the wrath of the law. Are you telling me now that your parents are back together? Oh my god. <laughs> Well, you. you can't imagine how close they are right now. They are like newly married couples. Uh, <laughs> it's okay? Yeah, that's okay. Oh, it's okay, yeah. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at who we have here. My brother, Anthony. The architect, I suppose. Oh, yeah, the architect. Oh. <laughs> yeah. How you doing? How are you doing? Cool with you. Very fine. Sorry, I admired your beautiful edifice design. Oh, really? Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, introduction time. Anthony, this is Barbara from Omona. Barbara, this is my one and only brother, Anthony. She's actually my fiance, sister. <laughs> oh, really? Dude, you didn't tell me you had a very beautiful sister. <laughs> so, why didn't you tell her? Oh, possibly, maybe because we didn't have time to discuss about my family. <laughs> Moreover, she lives in the UK. She came into the country a couple of days back. Can I get a hug? Sure, why not? <coughs> <coughs> what is that for? Okay. <laughs> All right, make yourselves comfortable. Sister, which one is yours? Uh, this? Yeah, I can have that. All right, thank you. Um, the only problem my father has is the fact that your parents are separated. Now that's a settled, every other thing will be fine. Ah, I am happy. I'm so happy, especially for my sister. <laughs> she loves your brother so much. <laughs> so, so much that I, I saw her almost dying when your father said I cannot get married. <laughs> my father is just an earthly king. He is not the almighty God. And even the almighty God has settled everything in line with biblical promises. My father has no option but to follow. You talk like a preacher. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Thank you. And you are a very dynamic architect. And I like you. <laughs> well, I've already told my mother about it, and I know that she would talk my father into it. You know, they are so close like they've never been before. <laughs> and I'm definite that there's nothing my mother will ask my father to do that he will not do. Really? Of course. <laughs> well, uh... That would be the last straw that will eventually bring the cameras back. Mm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because by the time your father comes to the king to confirm that he is reunited to the wife, yeah. my father has no choice but to give us his blessings. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have one question for you. Go ahead, Derek. When you eventually become king, mm -hmm. what will you be doing? Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. what will be the end? Exactly what my father's been doing. Oh, yeah. would you do something extra? Um, maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me what. No, you answer the question. No answer. It. What will you be doing? Well 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 well, 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 please, please, please. You know, there's this sensation I run through my spine when you give me a hug. Believe me, I have never felt that way before. Seriously. But I just told myself, hey, dude, you need to comport yourself. That's exactly what I did. But it's new and unique only to you. Mm. So what is the sensation called? I think I know. <laughs> Believe me, I cannot define it. But I know, I know that I like you. Guys, I like you. So I want to say, permit me, uh, I will be kind of forward right now, maybe too forward. Is it possible we, we start a relationship? <laughs> I don't want to believe you're such a clown. Your sister is getting married to my brother and there is possibly no way we can start anything. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Uh, <clears throat> I hope we're not interrupting anything here. Come on, what could you possibly be interrupting? We're just talking about a lot of things. Mm. Hey, 
I must say your brother is a very creative architect and I am so impressed. I totally support what you just said. He's very creative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Believe me, I cannot define it, but I know, I know that I like you. Yes, I like you. So I want to say, permit me, uh, I will be kind of forward right now, maybe too forward. Is it possible we, we start a relationship? I don't want to believe this is me. Am I actually falling in love with him? Oh. Your Royal Majesty. Some eight months ago, your son, the prince, presented a young lady to you as his choice of wife. That choice was Helen, and Helen is my daughter. In your wisdom, Your Majesty, you refused your royal blessing because you wanted the best for your family. Your reason was communicated to me, and I must admit that they are the undeniable truth. I personally came here today with my wife, Selena, to tell you that not only that the peace has been created in our family before our daughter could be made the future queen of your land, but that my son has indicated interest in Princess Barbara as a wife. Your Royal Majesty, it is only you that can make it happen. Please, make it happen. I am on my knees. Please rise. Okay. You are a great man. I am the king. When I see great men, I know. You are welcome to the palace. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Thank you. I have been briefed of all that happened already. And I tell you, I humbly doff my heart for you. Women like you are in short supply. <laughs> You're welcome to this room. Your Majesty. <laughs> no man can close any door that God has opened. You are destined to be the queen of Omona Kingdom. I stand on my feet to declare you the queen of Omona Kingdom. Welcome to this room. The gentleman made a final request. And you cannot tell me that you didn't hear him. Maybe that is why God brought you back home. Princess Barbara of Omona Kingdom, now tell us, is it your wish to be released unto them as their wife, just as they are releasing unto us their daughter as our wife and the future queen? He's my husband, and I'm his wife. Many 
have attempted to define love. But they weren't able. Some others have concluded that love has no definition. Here before the king, I tell you that love is like a colored seed that is planted without plan. That seed must germinate and grow if nurtured with the truth. This union started with love. And I know that it must end with love, must grow with love. Um, Prince Barbara, rise and embrace the man you call your husband. An elaborate occasion shall be organized to celebrate these unions. When God has started a thing, he must bring it to a successful end. It is well with you. He said. It is well with you. It is well with you. Well with you.